Now all new at 5 o'clock, a man from Long Island walking free from prison a quarter century after his murder conviction. Newly uncovered evidence led a judge to release him today, and Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne was posting video from inside the courthouse on Twitter when it happened. She's live in Mineola with the story now. Kristen. Dave and Diana, what is amazing is that this evidence was uncovered by Joseph Jackson himself. He says when he found it, he tried to call attorney after attorney. No one wanted to listen to him. He was finally able to get in touch with his, with his attorney from so many years ago. That attorney reached out to the Nassau DA with the concerns. There was applause and handshakes as Joseph Jackson walked out of the courtroom in Mineola this afternoon. I've been telling him I was innocent all along, but I couldn't find it here to believe me except my attorney. Jackson was convicted in 1997 of shooting and killing a 19 year old in Freeport. Jackson discovered through a public records request that two witness statements were never given to his attorney. One by an off duty NYPD officer reported a description of the suspect which did not match Jackson. It's just bittersweet because I sat next to him on the day he was found guilty by a jury. And to now know that there was information that we didn't have that would have changed the verdict. Jackson's acquittal came about after a six month investigation by the Nassau District Attorney's Conviction Integrity Unit. It found that while the Freeport Police Department never turned over the witness statements to the DA's office, information about those statements was made available to the defense. There was another report that was turned over that names them and refers to those statements. About a year after the shooting, Jackson wrote a 15 page confession admitting to the crime. He says police forced him to write it. The judge told Jackson today before acquitting him, only you know, sir, if you committed this crime. I just want people to know that I, I, I'm innocent. I never committed the crime. I was blamed for it. And the truth came out. Jackson says he is not bitter or angry about what happened to him. He says he's looking forward to being surrounded by his family, which includes his wife, five children, and a number of grandchildren. We're live in Mineola. I'm Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.